physical dagger assessment usually consists of an Air Force PT test. After that Air Force PT test, what we like to do is usually a litter carry involving rucks. Some land navigation is involved. And then once we get to a certain area, we will have them do a small PT session. From there, we'll do an individual run to see how they are operating individually. I think you need to come into it knowing that it's gonna be a long and a hard day. I'd say you need to have a certain degree of mental toughness, so you need to be a mature individual. You definitely need to have that physical toughness where you can endure longer hours of physical activity and also just be able to be away from friends and family because we're deployable at any moment. Dagger's difficult, I think, just because you're expected to operate independently a lot of times. You're not going to always have that mass sergeant or tech sergeant there telling you what to do every day, so you need to be expected to operate independently and work with minimal supervision. It's definitely a physically demanding job as well as mental. I'd say a prime dagger needs to be a free thinker. Just pretty much be able to go through things and not complain about it because, yeah, at the end of the day, things might be difficult, things might suck, but you're gonna have to get over it and get the mission done because your team relies on you. At the end of the day, I think it's making sure every team member comes home, obviously safe, and just having that sense of fulfillment at the end of the day that they just contributed to the mission and contributed to the safety of the nation.